All right, beautiful people. So today I'm really, really excited about this video because we get to do some artwork. I'm going to do a canvas with um, some strings um, that I saw somebody else do on a YouTube channel. Uh, basically, this is an art piece from, I want to say Crate and Barrel? Yeah, I believe so. And it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. And I'm planning on um, using it around my fireplace. So I'm really, really excited to share it with you guys. Um, but absolutely, I give credit to this lady who I saw her doing it. Um, I believe her name, well, I can't think of her name right now, but I will uh, link her video uh, below so you guys can see it. But let me turn this around so you guys can see all the different supplies that we are going to be using for this. First off, we're going to need some thread. This is some thread that I got from Amazon. And I put mine in this little tin can so that I can pull it out easier and not get all tangled. And I need some tape, some white tape, some staple gun. And I happen to have this one just got new staples to put in there and a canvas. This canvas here I've had it for a while now. I think we got it last summer and I've just had it out there. Um, I bought two of them. They were 50% off when I got them and um, I've had this one just put away and it happened to be the perfect size for this. It's a 36 by 40. As you saw at the beginning, we started with one string, but that was going to take us for, I don't know how many decades. So we came up with different ideas. Here's another idea, getting all the strings together and then um, just cutting them all at once. Now that made it a little bit quicker for us. But as you can see right here, my daughter got into the action too and she started helping with um, the cutting because it is very time consuming. Today is the second day of us working on this project but I'm really, really excited on how this is gonna turn out. So we start with one string that's already been pre-cut. And the reason behind this is it's a little bit difficult to have like a tape measure or like the measure itself. It's a little bit bulky and wonky to do that. So we just take already a pre-cut one that's a little bit more flexible to work with. And then we have all the rolls just there. Again, just loosely laid so I can actually measure the strings out until that first pre-cut string ends. Just grab a pair of scissors and then, oh, well, period of cut. What am I doing? I'm trying to connect it. It stays focused. <clears throat> you know, you know the concept of, or not concept, but do you know how people like like blankets and stuff back in the day. This, this is what reminds me of that. 
best part is just knowing that you created this for your own home. To give you an idea, we did about 17 little bunches of 40 strings, each little bunch, um, and that went uh, horizontal or vertically. So about 17 little bunches. And then um, horizontally, um, that was the, the toughest part because that one took about 27, 28 uh, bunches of 40 strings each. Again, it was a lot of work but it was so well worth it. 